I found it on Rayma Radio. Hey guys, you're listening to Rayma Radio, your weekly podcast on faith, culture, music, and more. I'm here with Jason Ding, the station director of Rayma Radio, and Adeline Lam, the content manager of Rayma Radio, to find out a little bit more about what they are all about. Now, just a little bit of history. Rayma Radio is an initiative of the Love Malaysia project that is quickly growing into a significant media platform in Malaysia, known for its proclamation of the Christian gospel message without boundaries. This platform for discipleship is overseen by an elected board of trustees made up of Christian leaders in the country. And we get to our conversation right now. We have yeah. a chat with you guys. <laughs> so how are you guys today? We are doing very, very good. Yeah. And we are very impressed that we got you started. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you very much. That's good to know. <laughs> so um, maybe you can start by telling us a little bit about how Rayma Radio first got started. Before we do that, maybe you can just set it up a bit more. Uh, so for those of you who have been listening to Rayma Radio and uh, have have heard my voice and Adeline's voice, you may be wondering who's this other voice being here. Right <laughs> so it's Joanna Ambrose. Yes, yeah, that's the, the me. daughter of one of our other hosts, Sheila Singham. And uh, what we what we thought of uh, was to get her into the studio because she uh, her mom said that then she'd be good to try out to be uh, one of the a hosts in Rayma. <laughs> uh, Presenter on Rayma. And I thought, thanks, hey, mom. Let's just do it. Let's get her into the studio and let's let let today the twentieth episode. Be the episode where she comes on board and interview us. Yeah, <laughs> because that's how we do it in Rima. And I'm okay? extremely excited to be here. Yeah. So thank you for having yeah. me. So now I think this, the the tone is set. Every twentieth episode, we need to get a new guest, a new host. <laughs> <laughs> and you, you're doing really good so far. Thank you, Joanna, to be to to be here and to, to host us. <laughs> Tables turn. Okay, how how we first started? Okay, uh, we started 2014. Uh, is where um, Frida is uh, announced in BFM and uh, she serves in uh, Leta Ying's PJ, mm-hmm. right? Yep. So she asked me to say, hey, uh, this is there's this exciting project that she wants to kick off. Uh, let's meet up for coffee as all things start mm-hmm. over coffee. Yep. And uh, that's where she she introduced me to Srida, Srida Subramaniam, uh-huh. right? And um, I brought along, of course, I need to have someone on my side just to... For sure. Yeah, yeah. So, so, I, and I brought in a technical guy, uh, and and there's no other than Moses Chan, the guy who's <laughs> in the produce yeah, studio right now. he's the unseen uh, hand behind all our hands. shows. Uh, he's the one that's in the in the in the control room and giving us instructions through our headpiece. He's in control. <laughs> <laughs> so he he's the one that's always in, uh, in, in the he's the producer and we are using his studio. So I brought Moses along and we went for coffee. Uh, and and of course Frida was there. And Frida that's the first there. guy you thought of. Yeah, yeah, Moses. Oh, because wow. because before before that, uh, me and Moses had conversations of, hey, we need to do something, you know, maybe come up with some form of uh, content. Like we we thought all kinds of ideas, lah. But one of it was to come up with uh, testimonies and, mm-hmm. and sermons and things out there because there's, I, I think there's not enough uh, uh, curated uh, uh, content that can be a. a a tool of ministry to, to people definitely, out there. Yeah. Definitely. Like they say people who are going through a hard time or going through maybe a tough situation in regards to maybe their health, then they can then yeah. search a, a resource, a, a place, a website that, that says, hey, I'm going through the same thing. Then pe- Christians can then use that as a tool to to minister to their friends and yeah. say, this, this person went through the same thing or even went through worse and they came out fine because God helped them, you know, God saved them. So my question is, why radio? Why not maybe a YouTube channel or any other sort of platform? Why specifically reach out to people using radio as a medium? Yeah. So we okay. So again, me, me, Moses, and uh, Frida and Sweda, we we had the conversation and we we thought with different ideas. Yeah. And uh, yeah, we we did say that uh, we are definitely going to grow. That's why the the body that's uh, that's uh, behind this and backing this up is a Love Malaysia Media Project. Mm-hmm. So it's not going to be just purely radio yeah. it, it's going to expand we, we want to uh, cover different grounds as long as it's resource as long as it's content but we, we thought hey it's a good idea to kick off with radio first yeah. uh, something a bit more uh, manageable and something that, that the, the guys are a bit more familiar with because Frida yeah. again is from radio and Frida has experience with broadcast he was with NTV7 yeah. uh, Malaysian Insider and uh, ABN. He has ABN and so he has a, a wealth 
of resource, a wealth mm. of experience. All right. So that that's why that is why radio. But uh, we will not shy away from YouTube. We will not shy away from video content. Which we are planning to make more music to, videos yeah, in yeah. the future. So we we came up with what one video so far. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Have you seen the Christmas video we did? No, I have <laughs> not. I should go and check that out. Yeah, you should check it out. It, it's uh, something really fun that we did, and we're working towards the next one for for uh, the next video coming up soon. I see. So, yeah. Okay, that's and fantastic. The interesting thing is. Is that when we first started the radio, mm-hmm. a lot of people came up to us and said, oh, you know, we felt that God, you know, wants us to do it as well. It's so good that you're doing it. Mm-hmm. And it seems like, you know, when God wants to do something, a lot of people get that same impression. Yeah. So we are glad that we are here to yeah. start something. And this is just a, a shout out to um, people, you know, um, who's listening, if you are interested to join us mm-hmm. and, and you felt like God has impressed this in your heart, we welcome your partnership to come and help, you know, be it in writing, in presenting, um, in anything, yeah. even in website building. So we welcome all all resources, actually. Yeah. All right. You heard that, guys. If you want to serve, you know where to go. Yeah. So um, tell us a little bit about what it was like setting up Rayma Radio. You know, what sort of challenges did you encounter? How did you go about sourcing your guests? That mm, sort of thing. Mm. So, yeah. So we when we first started, uh, the team was, well, not really the team, but the people that uh, was invited to be involved were a lot okay mm-hmm. uh, at one point I think I was part of seven eight whatsapp groups wow <laughs> Just how many people in one whatsapp I, I don't oh know, wow five, that sounds like a handful five to, <laughs> so there were, there were a lot of people there were a lot of people and everyone was excited mm-hmm. uh, but then I think uh, the timing wasn't right mm-hmm. and, and things uh, didn't really uh, kick kick off as, as as we hoped yeah. uh, because I think God wants us to just prepare ourselves and, and this a, was back in 2014 like you yeah, mentioned right yeah, I think more of uh, 2015 by the, uh, by the okay. point uh, and different ones came and different ones then left and there was a period of like kind of like uncertainty uh, we, not, not, not to say we were certain about what we want to do mm-hmm. uh, but we were not 100% certain about how we're going to do it ah. Yeah, and I think uh, when we were too certain maybe God is telling us hey you, you shouldn't be so certain. Mm. I have I have a better plan. Yeah, and and uh, that's how it happened. We were just uh, uh, moving as we go along and learning, and then uh, different ones came and went, and there were there were many 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 coffee. Mm-hmm. I drank a lot of coffee <laughs> <laughs> in in our conversations, yeah. and meeting with different ones. Uh, but then eventually it came down to just hey, I think it's time to do it. Yeah. Uh, so uh, come, uh, Christmas of uh, two thousand uh, last year, mm-hmm. we kicked it off. I yeah. see. So what was that one moment where it just felt like things started falling into place that, you know, God was working his miracles to really make this happen? Okay. One big one was when, uh, when, when in our meeting, in one of my meetings with Swida, uh, and uh, we were deciding on the name, mm-hmm. right? So, uh, and then we just thought, hey, Rima Radio, it just, it just in both our minds, it just kind of like downloaded. Yeah. And then... We, because there was another station also that we were looking at and, mm-hmm. and using as reference. And then we did, okay, let's ru- just run with it. And then we, we booked the domain name mm-hmm. immediately, like that afternoon itself. I still remember it was in yeah. Starbucks and Jaya Shopping Center. Jaya, Jaya Shopping Center. Yeah. <laughs> Me and Sweda were just having coffee. <laughs> booked the domain name. And then what I told him was that, hey, um, to move forward, because at that time we needed a few other people in, involved. We needed a technical mm-hmm. person to, to look into the websites uh, and the server stuff, technical aspect of it. Yeah. And then we needed a writer. Right, yeah. and then two days later, I got this mm-hmm. SMS from this person, which I didn't know <laughs> then, and she said, "Hey, Jason, are you uh, are you involved in the radio? And I I would like to be part of that." Yeah, and that's actually me. Ah, okay. <laughs> So what happened was that uh-huh. I went to Kelantan for a field trip for my former job as a writer in uh-huh. Christianity Malaysia. And there's this pastor who so who was praying and then he insisted that I have Jason's number. So I was like, okay, well, he's really persuasive and very encouraging, you know, yeah, you should have his number, you should connect with him. So I, I, I got his number mm-hmm. and um, my mentor was praying and she says that, hey, I was praying and I about radio, a Christian mm-hmm. radio, and I saw your face. Are you doing anything about that? And I'm like, no, I'm a writer. I'm not doing any radio. So God just dropped his name into my head, mm-hmm. and I just randomly called him. Yeah. We have no mutual friends at all. And um, when I called him, he just uh, told me, oh, yeah, I'm actually doing that, uh, the, the Christian radio. Let's just meet up. Yeah. So everything just moved really fast. Yeah. And, and what was that time period like between this and your first episode that you guys released? 
at oh, that so. time, I think it's about in a year. Ah, right? okay. About a year. So it things took, started to move quickly maybe, after yeah, that. Maybe nine months, eight, nine, ten months. Maybe nine months. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but, but the curious thing is that uh, we didn't announce that we're doing a radio station. So uh-huh. there's no way that she would have known unless they, she had a different... I have a different channel. Channel. <laughs> yeah. So that's, that's, if you're asking me, that yeah. was when it really uh, kicked off and when we met to pray and then it moved on from there. Ah, okay. All right. Well, that's great. It's fantastic to find out, you know, how th- God really makes miracles happen. You know, things sort of fall into place in their own way. Um. We are going to take a short break. When we come back, we're going to talk a little bit more about Rayma Radio and what you guys are all about, what your mission is all about. Stay tuned, guys. Hi, I'm Patrick Leong, and I worship in Grace Assembly, Pataling Jaya. And today's uh, scripture reading is taken from Romans thirteen eleven titled The Day Is Near. So it starts off at verse 11 and do this, understanding the present time. The hour has come for you to wake up from your slumber because our salvation is nearer now than when we first believed. Hey you, if you are a youth or a youth leader or someone working with young people, this is for you. Festival 2017 happening from the 31st of May to the 3rd of June 2017. It is a conference and a resource for all things youth. We have on offer over 60 workshops available covering all sorts of topics from media to missions to community, evangelism, sports, all sorts of things that you can think of pertaining to youth ministry. You will be resourced and you will be equipped. So we'd like to invite you to come and join us. The fee is now only 50 ringgit. You can find out more at www.festival.my. Festival is spelled F-A-I-R-S-T-I-V-A-L. Festival.my. Alright guys, welcome back. You're still here with me, Joanna, listening to Rayma Radio, your weekly podcast on faith, culture, music and more. And I'm sitting down with Jason Ding, the station director of Rayma Radio and Adlin Lam, the content manager. So we were about to just get into, you know, what Rayma Radio is all about, what your mission is and what you're trying to do um, to de- develop Rayma Radio as a platform. So tell us a little bit about that. I mean, what sort of issues and topics do you take on in these podcasts? I guess when we first started, we we really wanted to have uh, uh, the a, con- a, a station or a platform where uh, one we can actually share positive mm-hmm. uh, positivity, and not just for the for the sake of positivity, but uh, a word of hope from God. Yeah. Because um, the thing was when I mean in all our Facebook walls, sometimes when we see there's a lot of negativity, there's a lot of yeah, uh, things sure. that and and I and I realize content that's being. Uh, created these days is not so there's no uh, moral com- compass behind it necessarily it's very much whatever that would get people talking yeah yeah, yeah. as long as it's, it's uh it, it creates some form of response maybe yeah it may be that's how cute. you put viral videos yeah. out there you know yeah. you pick on what people want to hear yeah. and it's not a, it's not just about what the writer or the, the yeah. publication uh, necessarily feels uh it may be just as hey, this will get a response people mm-hmm. will start talking about it you know i remember uh when they had the i mean the, the orlando shooting mm-hmm. and then straight after that someone posted uh oh the, this pastor said this they deserved mm-hmm. it and I'm like, that's such a terrible thing to say. It is. And then I tried to think about the that's process. Awful. The process. Who, when they when they posted it out, uh, who, who? I mean, did the writer really expect it? Uh, I mean, uh, wanted it to go this way or that way? I said no. I think they just wanted people to start talking about it to so gain, in, generate a reaction. Yeah, yeah it's, yeah. it's inflammatory. It's yeah. just like kerosene. Just pour it on. So there's not much, you know, uh, thought or, or moral mm-hmm. uh, uh, direction behind the content. And I felt that we should. Uh, not say just take it back. You no, know, some people say take back media, but uh, I think we just want to have a voice heard and some yeah. some content is there. The other thing that really uh, triggered my my um, spurred me on to do this when there was this article by Relevant Magazine, mm-hmm. and then there's, they, they they posted it says that no uh, this is Google theology mm-hmm. it says that you know whenever you search for something on Google search bar there's a there's a auto suggest yeah so the the thing was like the the, the question that was asked was why are Christians so what do you think it was. Oh dear, I'm afraid to guess <laughs> what it was. The Adeline, was, what do you think it was? He, she knows, I shared this. Oh, she knows already. <laughs> okay, tell me. Hit me with it. <laughs> so the word was mean. Why are Christians oh, no. so mean, right? And and we thought that, 
no, it, this this can't be. But be, be this and it's the the results is based on uh, algori- most Google, algorithm right? and most search exactly. Yeah. So we thought that a hey, um, this perception is moral. This this uh, view worldview of a uh, view of Christians is, is 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 not good, and we need to kind of fix that in, in some extent. So yeah. we thought, hey, uh, Rayma Radio will be, good, will be a good platform uh, for for churches to show or, or Christians rather to show unity one to another, to show love. Yeah. You know? And and uh, and and that's why if you if you heard our shows in uh, in the past episodes, we try to keep it as diverse as possible uh, from yeah. different different uh, churches, different denominations, yeah. uh, uh, women, mm. men. And, and all, I mean, across the different topics, and also the, talking yeah. on, on topics, we we try to cover the seven uh, mountains of culture. Mm-hmm. You know? So we, yeah. try, we try to keep it balanced. Yeah. Okay, yeah. so a little bit of everything, yeah. which um, okay. So you mentioned, you know, it doesn't matter what denomination that uh, Christians are from. You kind of want to reach out to them, you yeah. know, and speak to them. Yeah. And which brings me to my next question. You know, why is it so important for us to actually be focused on this? You know, to unite Christians in Malaysia um, under one platform. Um, I think in the Bible, it says that when the disciples, they love one another, that's when they show Christ. Mm -hmm. And I feel that actually the church in general, the church as a body is actually very rich and very wealthy. You know, we have Mm -hmm. a wealth of talents, a wealth of resources. And I cannot imagine if all of us actually come together and Mm -hmm. group our resources together and the talents, I believe we can really do uh, make a a difference, like a real difference, not just saying it, but we can really... Um, see things happening from everyone putting their hand mm-hmm. into uh, what God made them to be, you know, and, and, and to to uh, uh, contribute um, their their skills and their talents in in what God gave them. So uh, unity is definitely uh, important because I feel that all of us are created in the image of God. Mm-hmm. And when we come together, we gave this perfect um, and accurate, you know, uh, this comprehensive mm-hmm. uh, understanding of who who God is. So I yeah, so the body of Christ is essential to show who Christ is, yeah. especially in this country. Yeah. The word of God says that you'll be known to be Christians by your love, one to another. Yeah, for mm-hmm. one another. Yeah. yeah. And and that should be what we are we, we are aspiring towards, you know, what what we want to achieve. So Rema is one way of achieving that. Right, right. Hopefully. And okay, so and uh, what I what I would like to know also is, you know, what sort of potential impact do you see in the Christian community from not just rallying everybody from different denominations together, but at the same time rallying the Christian leaders together? Um, what what do you foresee in the future? What do you hope will you know come to fruition from this? Well, um, well, for one, we can start a conversation, mm, I, I which think, is always the most important. Yeah, isn't yeah, it? yeah. Uh, I, I think for a long time, when uh, and, I mean when when things happen in our country or things happen uh, in, in in culture or community, whatever it is, uh, mm-hmm. we we have of course our, the ultimate frame is the Bible. Okay, mm-hmm. we we go back to the Bible, but uh, I, I think it's also important to actually listen to uh, Christian leaders and thought leaders mm-hmm. on on issues and how maybe we could respond or should respond. Mm-hmm. And uh, I, I, Rema is a good platform for uh, for pe- for Christians, especially people who are more fluent in the field or mm-hmm. people who are more fluent in a certain topic to to share. Yeah. And and then we can have uh, even news in in the, in the frame and the context of faith. Mm-hmm. You know, and not just uh, anything else from other countries. You know, yeah. Like on YouTube or CNN or whatever it is or BBC and or even in in our own local media. Mm-hmm. You no, know, we we it's great, but we kind of need a, a a context of faith what does it mean to us as christians i see okay that's that's really interesting and what i now what i want to know is a little bit earlier we were talking and you know you mentioned to us that rayma radio as a whole it serves as a, as a ministry right so which brings me to my question how is rayma radio funded you know how are you guys how do you guys plan to keep this project going it's a very good question <laughs> <laughs> um well for now uh we are uh we have raised uh, a, a, a small amount of funds to mm-hmm. keep us uh, going for for a, a bit for mm-hmm. maybe this this period of time uh, but we are needing to look into uh, longer sustainability definitely and and uh, we have had, we've had ideas you know, mm-hmm. uh, but we would need uh, to look into support from listeners you know, at, at one point of course. Uh, and and, and we're we exploring different models okay yeah. so um 
definitely look out for details on our website. If you mm-hmm. feel that, hey, the, the work that we're doing is, uh, it, it adds value yeah. and you think that we, you believe with us, we want you to partner with us. And what is that website? Could you tell us? www.rhemarad.io. Yeah. Okay. So, so for now, it's just uh, kind donations from people who, mm-hmm. who, who want to see it kick off. Mm-hmm. But uh, yeah. We and will, we will. do you find you guys need uh, other kinds of support apart from monetary support? Uh, we definitely need uh, other types of support. Um, um, for example, anyone who um, has the experience of wanting to present mm-hmm. or even have you know, the interest to present, uh, we need writers as well mm-hmm. to write uh, captions and descriptions we for need designers, our sermons. Yeah. Artists. Yeah. yeah, designers, artists, um, and even and musicians yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. for our music video. So there are a lot of avenues that we can explore because we're also doing music videos Mm -hmm. um, and also interviews Mm -hmm. that's live recording in the future. So uh, we are expanding towards many areas and we welcome talents of all kinds. Just so you know, Joanna, right mm-hmm. now there's only the, the, the key people that's, that's running Rema Radio is only four of us actually there's ah, four okay. people <laughs> and we, we managed to do this this much but with more people on board we, we hope to grow it even bigger and, and yeah and I definitely hope you know whoever's listening out there if you want to serve well you should be serving I think you know we all could do with a little bit more of that grace that comes with um, actually serving the Lord. The other thing that they, they can actually do is actually to, of course, pray with, pray for us and pray mm-hmm. with us. That's that's definitely something that we we cannot uh, deny uh, and, and and look down on. We need prayer mm-hmm. and very very important. When our content goes out, please share it out. Yes. If, if, especially if you feel that this con- this this particular episode, like the last uh, the yeah. episode is come, uh, that we, we, we have about uh, you know, healing testimonies mm-hmm. or the different uh, situations that they went through, I think we hope that this content is relevant. So yeah. we, we hope that you know, if you, you think, especially if someone else you know needs mm-hmm. to hear it, please share it out. Share it in your walls. Get the word out there. We are here. You yeah. know? <laughs> and speaking of your content, you know, what can we expect from Rema Radio in the coming episodes? To try mm-hmm. to keep it as diverse as possible from different churches, denominations, mm-hmm. um, from uh, different topics. Even uh, we try to have like, um, you know, uh, men and women together mm-hmm. to spread it out. Uh, the topic that we chose is based on the seven mountains. Do you give us an idea of what they are? Yeah. So it's like business, it's like family, uh, entertainment and media, politics, government, um, religion. religion and business. Wow, that sounds like a whole lot of topics that you guys are preparing to cover. Um, and I wish you all the best with it, you know? Um it's 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 a really great work that you guys are doing here and I think it's so important to get pe- more people involved in the ministry so to you guys out there if you're listening you know join call Rema Radio up you know <laughs> help them get get involved support their cause you know help spread the word of the Lord um, and messages on Facebook as well yeah, on Facebook, yeah, yeah. you know you've got so many avenues to contact them how can people get in touch with you so yeah of course uh, we have the uh, our website so the email is there so it's hello at, at Rema Radio mm-hmm. which is again R-H-E-M-A-R-E-D dot I-O uh, and, and, and we are fairly active on Facebook so uh, message me on Facebook I'm, I'm, I'll be there to catch your messages hopefully and uh, yeah that, those are two ways which you can get in touch and we hope to hear from more people uh, so for those of you especially who have been listening to our uh, past episodes and uh, we want to hear you know, what, you, what you think, how we can improve, what kind of content you want to hear more of you know, so that we can uh, also one, be encouraged and two, also grow to have uh, content that's more relevant for everyone out there. All right, there you have it. Thank you guys so much for this lovely conversation today. It's thanks, been, Ryan. It's thank been you. very enlightening, you know. You and did, I, you did a really good job, Susie. <laughs> well, yeah. thank you. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And um, I honestly, I really hope that you guys find a lot more support in helping to grow Rema Radio. Um, so that was Jason Ding and Ellen Lam from Rema Radio, and you're here with me, Joanna Ambrose, listening to your weekly podcast on faith, culture, music, and more. My name is Ashley Lowe from Adams Road Presbyterian Church in Singapore. I want to share with you the testimony of how God has given me a song during a flight from Singapore to Malaysia. Sometime last year, I have um, have an inspired group uh, ministry who is a a cancer support group with God in the center. One of the brother 
who's suffering cancer stage 4, receive a melody song in the middle of the night, 3 a.m., and send the song to me and ask me if I can compose the song. And I tell him, brother, you must be joking. I'm a banker and an engineer. How can I write a song? And he said, I don't know. God just impressed me to send this to you. So I hear the song. It's a beautiful melody. But I said, no, 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 no. I don't have time to do that. But uh, he sent me a picture of his fingers with peeling skin off. And then he said, sister, I don't know why um, God has impressed me to send this melody to you. Then when I saw his picture with the finger peeling off after a few rounds of chemo, my heart was burdened and I said, yes, Lord, I will have to do this song for this brother. And his name is Sam. And he wrote this beautiful melody. Then I said, okay, brother, give me another week. I'll write this song for you. And of course, the week come by so fast. And I was so busy working. And I was flying from Singapore to Kuala Lumpur. And he sent a text to me saying that, oh, today is the last day. Have you got any lyrics yet? And I said, oh no, I said, oh dear, how? Then on the flight, I was so panicked. And I actually prayed very hard on the flight. And asking God to anoint and inspire me to write this song. And of course, when I, after praying, and I play his melody, and the Lord just suddenly, just download the whole song into my heart and sing into me. And it's so amazing that the song is in Mandarin and I'm not really Mandarin educated and I was planning to write the song in English and we I really I mean to me it's like God is so mysterious and so humorous so that this is so clear it is He who write the song I am just the one the instrument to write for Him and this song just download all in one flow 45 minutes, the song was birthed out. It's called Dance in the Storm. And this song, um, straight away after, because it's all in English writing, pinging, I don't know how to write the writing. And after meeting, I went to see my mom because my mom is uh, very good in her Chinese character. I actually consulted my mother and my brother how to write the words into into Chinese character. Then after that, I sang the song through the iPhone, trying to use the iPhone recording because Brother Sam was so impatient, saying, send it to me, sing it and let me hear it. Obviously, I sent it to him. He was very in awe of how the Lord inspired the song because I knew it was not me who wrote the song. It was God who sang the song through my heart that it was my hand that write it out for him and then when Brother Sam received the lyrics and he straight away when I arrived in Singapore and he decided to record it in a track and that's how the song was birthed out and the Lord spoke to me when he gave me the song he said use it to reach out to many people who seek healing from Him. Some people may not hear His word, but through the song, they will receive healing. So I kept the song in my iPhone after recording. I dare not show to anyone. But every now and then when I talk to people, and God will impress me to let that somebody to hear it. There was two occasions when I shared with someone, and God's anointing just flowed. And when she received it, she was having heart palpitation and not knowing what happened to her. And she felt total release after hearing the song. And I think God is using all sorts of ways to reach out to people. Some people may reach out with His words. Some people may reach out by His song. And I pray that this song will bless many more people who come to hear this song. In the future, whenever God's appointed time that we send out this song, who receive it. And that's how um, this this dance in the storm come about. 
And I pray that this also, this is a song also for the Inspire Group. It's, it's actually birthed out from one of the Inspire Group member. And I also want to use the song to encourage the cancer people who think that they're walking a journey of darkness alone. And they are not alone because God will be with them. This segment's episode features music from Ashley Lau. Today's episode is recorded and edited in ProDio Studio by Moses Chan. We would love to hear from you, especially if you have a testimony to share. Write to us at hello at rimarad.io. Don't miss out on the sermon by Pastor Dave Gilpin at Hope City Church in the next segment. I found it on Rima Radio.